That is a beauty. There is so much gold in this spot. It took us two days to clean it out. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm looking at right now. And this is only day one. I just got another one. All right. So I'm back again on the same river I was in the last few videos. Because we found those nice nuggets last time, the plan of attack is try to move the big pile of overburden that I made to see if we can get to the very bottom of that crevice. I'm hoping there's gonna be more or at least something big at the very bottom. I'm borrowing Reese's metal detector just to scan over the spot and see if I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Looks like the water level is up a little bit. Before I damp the area right here, which will bring the water up, I thought I would just kind of go to the left over here. And I found our first piece of gold. Now, this piece of gold turned out to be a couple pieces of gold. Boom. try moving this one. There's a chance that if I move it, I won't be able to get it off the hole and work it. I don't know if that was a good idea. Once I moved that boulder out of the way, I slowly worked to the bedrock to see if I can continue that spot where I found that piece of gold. You won't always get lucky, but I did see more pieces, so I can't turn back now. All right, so where I just saw those two nuggets was right there. I'm now over here starting to see bedrock. So I know for sure we're gonna find some gold here because I already saw it. Plus, I'm noticing a nice crevice with lots of ironstone. Oh yeah, and it's above where we found those nuggets in the last video. I'm willing to bet we're gonna find another nugget somewhere around here. I did manage to suck up more gold, but I knew we could do better somewhere else. I'll spend a bit more time here to gather up all the easy stuff, but then I think I'm gonna go to the spot why you probably clicked this video. I just excavated 50 million pounds of rock. I keep seeing gold on the way down, but now we're almost at the very bottom. Hopefully there'll be something nice down there. As I slowly made my way to the bottom of this point, I really started to get excited because I was finding gold all the way down. And once I got to the very bottom, my very own ironstone. All right, I'm back at the tent. I'm gonna make this video a multi-day video because I wasn't really in the river for very long today. I did find a little bit more gold off camera, but yeah, I'll just show you what I got. Ooh, shiny. It's all so chunky and I like it. This is our biggest piece of the afternoon. Nice pick a mite. So what I think I'm gonna do is Reese's Pieces is gonna come here tomorrow morning and then we're gonna go back upstream and do some sniping. So this will either be a two day adventure or a three, three day adventure. adventure. Maybe, Maybe four day adventure. adventure, I don't know. But we're gonna find more gold, so keep watching. So this gold weighs 1.19 grams. Let's try to beat that right now. So I brought the hookah system again today to try to get down to those deeper, those deeper crevices. With any luck, we'll beat yesterday's total 1.19 grams. Could you imagine if like, you're just a bug on a tree and you see somebody like me walk by talking to themselves? I wish I was him. So we're almost at the river, but once we're at the river, I'm gonna go way further upstream to where Reese found his 20 gram nugget. I too also would like a 20 gram nugget, Reese, and I find it unfair you were here without me. So I just got here and I am blown away. I just found a rock. I'm gonna start using these gloves instead of those neoprene gloves, especially in the summertime, because these don't wear out as fast as neoprene gloves. People have been telling me to change gloves for years, but do I listen? No. I am ready to go. So I'm just working in this little shallow area here just to get a feel for the area. And while I'm clearing out the overburden, I found a suspicious yellow rock that looks pretty cool to me. First piece of gold of the day was a nugget. 
Because we just found gold here, there's a chance that there could be gold around. So I continued to work this shallow spot and it wasn't long till we found our second piece. So I got down to the bottom of that hole, didn't find anything. I moved this way, I removed this big piece of bedrock and I've just been banding away, not seeing anything, and then the smoke cleared. And then I see another shiny yellow rock. I'm not 100% that it's what I think it is, but I think it is what I think it is. Oh yeah! It's a rusty looking nugget! <laughs> Our second piece of the day is another nugget. I really like this area. I almost didn't even notice this guy. Now, even though this is a nice nugget, it's small compared to what I'll still find in this video no. and what I find in the next video, which is day two. <laughs> I'm not finding any fine gold, but our third piece of gold is another nugget. I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. So it's going to be worth staying here for the day or as long as I can. The bedrock is really fractured, so it takes a while to get to the bottom. But I imagine if we keep this up, we're going to find something bigger than 20 grams. <laughs> so I realized that the gold I've been finding in this area has all been in the hard pack and not on the bedrock. Because of this, I spend more time really cleaning out the hard pack so I don't miss anything. Fortunately, this next piece was hard to miss. <laughs> Do you guys see that? I was just scraping the hard pack like I've been doing and when I pulled back a piece of bedrock, a really big nugget just popped out. <laughs> All right, that is a beauty. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's got to be at least 0 0.05 of a gram. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's probably five or six grams right there. That is amazing. It definitely won't go up the straw. Boop. Right before I found that piece, I pulled a big rock out and smoked the rock on my lip. I don't know if you can see anything, but it was bleeding and I was in a lot of pain. <laughs> After finding a nugget like that, I'm sure anybody would be keen just to stay put and clean like they're gonna have somebody important come over to their house and don't want them to think that you're dirty or don't take care of yourself because you left a half-eaten burrito next to your bed once and it caused your great-grandmother to slip and twist her ankle. So I'm just kind of moving bedrock like that, taking the bedrock slabs out. And most of the time, the gold's actually just stuck on the side where, where there would be a crack. So I'm just scraping out all those little cracks in between and then just fanning. So Reese just showed up. He just showed me a nice little piece of gold that he found on his way up here. So that's where I was working and I decided to move down just a little bit to see if I could find some bedrock. And I did, and I found some gold. Stay. How you doing? I'm good. You find gold? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I didn't tell Reese just how good I was doing because I wanted to surprise him. Also, I wanted all the gold to myself. So what I'm doing here is just clearing out all the boulders and big chunks of broken bedrock off the bedrock to open up some new ground. It can take a while to do this, but it can obviously be worth it. Reese just yelled at me. What do you say? That's a nice chunker. <laughs> Maybe four grams or so, I don't know. It kind of looks like your 20 gram nugget, only a wee smaller. Reese got another one. Oh yeah, another nice thick piece. 
<laughs> I love that the gold here is so thick. Too thick, boy. Removing loose bedrock like this is super satisfying because if it's loose, that means there was a space behind it where the gold could have slipped into. And knowing this area has big gold makes it more exciting to look in between those loose pieces of bedrock. All right, so I've joined the club again. Yeah! <laughs> a little nugget! I just got another nice one. Oh, yeah! <laughs> no! Alright! I would have found all this gold if it wasn't for Reese. Reese showed me where he got his 20 gram nugget. So I've been eyeing up this area for a while, but I'm finally glad we went here. Oh man. So all I'm doing is literally scratching a bit into the hard pack, then fanning away the loosened material and the nuggets are just popping out. I've tried to capture the moment a nugget would show up several times. I just got another one. This was probably bigger than the last one. But I end up just wasting too much battery on the camera. <laughs> maybe not as big, but hey, that's still maybe four or five grams. Wow. I may have not found a 20 gram nugget yet, but I'm approaching 20 grams, I know it. Nope. Quick intermission. Making content is expensive. If you want to help support these videos, I've opened up more tiers on Patreon. Get early release videos, mystery box prizes, and even one-on-one -on -one chats with me. Hate that idea? Pinerpolly.com for a selection of merch you can wear, eat, or throw in the ocean. Back to the video. What's getting me really excited is that I'm not even on the bottom yet. Finally, a small piece of gold. I'm starting to get a little worried. All right, so I'm just having a break right now. My wrist is killing me, and I really, really don't want to stop. Tomorrow, Reese and I are going to come back here, and we're really going to hit it. I know we're going to do pretty good. So, as you can see, that's how Reese is doing. Man, those are beautiful. From the video. Again, yeah, I love how fat the gold is here. And then, that's what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that big piece right there, it's got to be a million ounces, I'm not really sure. But, look at all that. Plenty more ground to look through. So what I'm going to do, is put all these nuggets back in my snuffer bottle. I'll and continue. Lose it. Huh? And you lose it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lose my snuffer this time. You'll cry if you do that. I'll put, the, I'll put these nuggets in a snuffer bottle, won't lose it, and I'll continue looking for maybe an hour and then I'll go back to camp, have a good sleep, and we'll be back early in the morning to see what else we can find. Just got another one. Reese is gonna pull it out for me. I just saw another one. I didn't see it before because it was hooked underneath the rock. What a weird day. But obviously I can't stop, and my wrist really hurts. Now that I'm dealing with some pain, I'm starting to stress out because I don't want it to impact my ability to find gold. That worry, it disappears the moment you find more gold. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. So I spent the remaining energy I had looking around and trying not to pay attention to how much pain I was having in my wrist. But eventually I decided to get out and surprise Darren with what I found. I injured my wrist in judo years ago and if I overuse it, it really starts to hurt. 
Okay, so I have the gold in there and what I was gonna do was actually just wait until the end of tomorrow to weigh all the gold But I really hurt my wrist. I can barely move it now So I'm just gonna end today's video after I weigh this but look at that <laughs> Oh my goodness this definitely reminds me of last year when I was here That's our biggest piece so far of this trip That one you got this fatty I mean, all these are just absolutely exceptional. What do you want? <laughs> Give me some of that gold, boy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go surprise Darren and uh, hopefully he has a good reaction and then we'll dry it all up and then we'll weigh it. So this is all I got today, unfortunately. I oh no way, that's sad, mate. <laughs> I worked that's so really hard for sad. that. <laughs> no friggin' way. Oh my god. That kind of reminds me of last year when we were here. Remember that? We oh, got all that gold? Best day yet. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, and this is right after Kyle left. Probably weighs about a gram. A gram? Hmm. Us maybe 12 more? So right before Kyle left back to Canada, he's like, I just know you're gonna do well as soon as I leave. And I didn't say anything because I also really wanted to do well, and we did well. So let's dry this gold and weigh it. Okay, so our first piece, let's just weigh, start with the little guys. I'm gonna guess 1.5, what about you? Mm, two. 1.22, oh. two, 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 three. I on that one. Nice, what's your guess? I'd say it's 2.8. 2.8, I'm gonna guess four? Oh dang, 3.38, oh eight three. I'll just do a couple more, then we'll get to the bigger guys. What was that? Ten ounces? Well, it might be four. Three? Oh, it's a bit lighter, isn't it? Two point six zero. Oh yeah, did we beat one point uh, nineteen grams yesterday? Yes. Okay, now the bigger bit. That's probably I'm gonna say it's like maybe closer to five. Yeah, five point two, I'll say. Five point two. Oh. Four point eight three four three. Yeah. All right, All right, our second biggest one, what do you think? I'm thinking five. Five? Five, yeah, it might have been iron it. I'll say six. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> 8.25. That's good to be wrong sometimes. Yeah, that leaves us with the big question. The spud, today's potato. How much do you think that weighs? Look, I'm thinking it maybe 13.9, I'll say. 13.9. So my biggest yeah. nugget is 16.3. Uh, I don't think it's going to beat it, but we'll see. Ooh, 9.33 grams. Oh, still a nice slug. And then all together, will it be 6 grams all together? And then two little micro poops. They're going to make all the difference here. We've beat an ounce today, boys. 33.80 3 grams, so that's over an ounce more than what we found yesterday. Now let's put everything together. So there's yesterday's gold, and here's today's gold. I don't know what went wrong, but uh, this is way better. So here's the total for the two days. I wanna beat it tomorrow, but it will be on another video, so stay tuned. I'm very happy with that. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, stay tuned because I'll be in New Zealand for a little bit yet and I'm hoping this trend of nuggets will continue. Please subscribe and buy our new Pioneer Poly toque at pioneerpoly.com if you want to support the channel and be really cool.